intro got an intro for you guys today so as you know it's sunday so it's tearless tuesday which means not just having oh look right there not just having a boysenberry festival it's got food fest and live shows and we're gonna be trying the food foods there's 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 desserts and there's drinks but i'm gonna be trying all the food foods uh i mean maybe some of the desserts but i'm focusing on the foods i think there's 15 or 16 i kind of did my homework let's go to the park all right so we bought the thing usually you want to buy the thing because the thing comes with six and when you buy the thing you can go i mean they exclude like al alcoholic drinks or whatever but for the most part especially with like inflation i guess because prices are going to be crazy but the thing is you know you usually buy this it was 65 it gives you six tastings and i don't know how well of a value we're gonna get now but before you would get like four dollars off per thing and so with four dollars off per thing times four it's a pretty good amount of savings i'm assuming it's gonna be the same amount because then why would they sell these but uh we're gonna go ahead and try the first one i still don't know what we're trying we're waiting on the group but just want to explain the tasting card all right let's get out of here so <laughs> we'll start with the pork pork slices they, they look kind of dry especially when they have them but there's a boysenberry sort of gravy thing on them and it comes with mashed potatoes so mashed potatoes don't really taste like anything pork is also dry the only thing that has flavor is the gravy and it's like mustard and it's like sour and not that good i think there's a good start to the tier list there's gonna be a c tier Bruh. and we'll base other things around this unless everything sucks then all right we move this down all right and then here we got uh the beef uh what's called beef mac and cheese i didn't really get a close-up deal on beef mac and cheese barbacoa we got green onions and beef and cheese Okay, definitely more flavor. I can taste the subtle sweetness in the, the barbacoa and I guess like the whatever they stewed it in, they marinated in it, and um, it's, it's got good flavor. It's a tender, mac and cheese is good, nothing too overpowering, nothing bad. I'll put this in a B for now, which might move up to an A. Let's put it in A. I don't care. If I gotta move it, I'll move it. I'm throwing it in A. This is pretty good. All right, now we're gonna go try some other stuff. Oh, just, okay. Here we got the boysenberry barbecue. So they got their barbecue sauce that's infused with boysenberry. This is really good. They have this every year, like all the barbecue stuff. And they give you five wings. Also, what I was saying earlier, this, this is gonna be worth because of inflation. Things went up to like $14 average. This was $14. If you get this, every food is 10 and so if you're gonna do it get this thing but we got the wings go ahead and taste test this real quick this is a good sauce good chicken it's cooked right it's uh it's not dry sauce so this is a sauce barbecue sauce boysenberry sauce is probably one of my favorite things at the at the at the here and so we're throwing this up in a tier i feel like a lot of stuff here i think it's a pretty good ratings i have had some really bad things here and there but throwing this up in a tier so we got two a's and one c so far on to the next one here we are at the wilderness broiler we're in line to get our new text checks next to <laughs> our next two uh thingamajiggies we're gonna get some boysenberry sausage with uh oh no that's the wrong one some boysenberry sausage on a hoagie with some uh, sour slaw and uh beef and chorizo boysenberry chili here in a uh, beautiful not very far all right here we got the beef and chorizo beef beef and chorizo and it has boysenberry sauce flavored chili on top of it it's poutine i guess i didn't know poutine was just fries but it's got fries on it go ahead and try it the chili is a star of the dish it's got like tomato no not tomato onions on it oh, 
Yeah, okay, not too bad. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if this is cheese. I think it's cheese. Yeah, it's like cheese. I don't know what kind of cheese. Um, but you know, the fries are kind of whatever. The chili is the main thing. Um, but also, like, I don't really taste so much boysenberry. It's not bad. Um, kind of alright. Like, oh yeah, I eat this whole thing, but it doesn't stand out like all the other or some of the other things that we've tried. Um, it's it's a very mild. It's just chili. Actually, since I don't taste any boysenberry, and it's kind of alright, drop it down in the C tier. So we got another C tier. Not bad. It's just you know, boysenberry tier list. How you're not gonna have any boysenberry? All right, so here we got a boysenberry sausage with boysenberry sauerkraut. So it's like, yeah, it looks like the boysenberry mustard that we had from the the pork earlier. And so this, it's got the double boysenberry on it. It's got, I don't really know about the sauerkraut. I don't really eat it like that, but it's all falling, it all fell. Pretty good. Okay. Okay. I love watching the live people here. That's pretty good. Normally, not a fan of sauerkraut, but this is like, you know, the mustard mix it with the sauerkraut. It's a little sweet. The sausage also sweet and you do get a bunch of the boysenberry you know infusion throughout the whole thing the only thing and like it doesn't really take away from it because it's just like holding it but the bun kind of lame it's a regular bun but whatever sausage and the sauerkraut pretty good um throw it into a tier i could probably do without the mustard sauce because it all has like its own flavor it's a, it's a like a more sausage earth not earthy i don't even want it so the flavor of that sausage, smoky, smoky flavor on the sausage and then the cool crisp from the sauerkraut. The mustard adds some like sourness, which not bad. I could do without it. It's just, um, it's good. A tier, excuse me, A tier for this one. We're in line for the boysenberry sausage and hot honey pizza with a drink. <laughs> this is a boysenberry hot honey sausage pizza what else? and that's it it's got a i'm assuming it's the same sausage from the other sausage that we've eaten from the sausage from the earlier that was sausage uh but it's on pizza and it's got hot hot honey i don't know if it's like spicy honey or it's honey and the pizza's hot but let's go ahead and give this a try and this is, it looks good it smells a little weird already but it looks good It might be mozzarella, but the, the cheese that they use, it kind of tastes like ricotta, which is a cheese that they use for lasagna. It's a creamier sort of thing, and it's not hot, like as in spicy at all. Like the, the, the sausage works, you get the tomato, so it's like you got the honey, the honey balances with the sausage, but the cheese, it feels out of place. I don't know why, it might be mozzarella, but regardless, it tastes like the ricotta cheese from lasagna, which I like a lot, I, I like lasagna but it, it kind of messes with the with the balance of all the flavors in the pizza and so i'm gonna give it a, a b because it's a weird sort of balance if, if you if you use different cheese this would probably be an a or something but the thing is like the cheese like this whole section of cheese it's just it's 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 out of place but the sausage is good the rest of the pizza is good the tomato the bread the way this cooked the honey it works it's not the cheese b tier for the pizza i was hoping they put an a but i don't know she's weird she's she's good she's weird 
It's out of place, but it's like here we've got the boysenberry pulled pork with uh, no, with more of that barbecue sauce on top of what it's called a corn cake. A pastel de lote, which I mean translates into corn cake. So let's go ahead and try this. It looks looks pretty pretty good. It fell apart pretty tender and when they were serving it. Um, I mean, it's got the it's got the barbecue. The pork is kind of hmm. Because the, the 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 corn cake, I don't know if it's supposed to have any sort of flavor or anything. The the barbecue sauce is good. Um, that's all over everything. That's all over everything. And so, you know, it's giving flavor to... They're training a squirrel right now, as you can see in the back. Oh, he landed, never mind. Oh, no. Um, and so, it's got, it's got flavor. This kind of gives it some sort of, like, I guess a base to go with the meat. Uh, the meat is tender. Uh, it's, it tastes, like, similar to the, the chicken wings. It's, just, it's the same sauce and everything, so it's good. But... I don't know, I feel like the corn cake is like, it's kind of like, it doesn't really matter if it's there or not. It's really just a pulled pork, and the pulled pork, it, it's pretty good, but it's not like the best that I've had. It's tender for the most part, but it's alright, I give it a B. It, it's good, but it's not, not A tier material. And here we've got the seasonal uh, boysenberry butter elote, so it's got, the way, I mean, it's not usually butter, they usually do... Oh no, it's a boysenberry mayonnaise and butter. Okay, so yeah, when you do these corns, you put the mayonnaise, you usually put some butter on top, they put the cheese, the cotija cheese. And so instead of just having regular mayonnaise and regular butter, it's boysenberry mayonnaise and boysenberry butter. I haven't been in yet. Uh, I'm sharing with someone. But let's go ahead and uh, give this a try. that you went on with tea. Okay, so, so I mean the corn is done well but the thing is like this kind of similar to the what do we have that didn't taste like boysenberry the fries so the fry is similar to this one like it has what what it's supposed to be and what it tastes like but this kind of just tastes like a regular esquite. It's not bad, like it's done well, but it's missing the actual boysenberry flavor. All I really taste is the corn and the cotija cheese. And so for that reason, like again, it's done well, but it's missing the boysenberry. We're on the boysenberry tier list. So throwing this in C tier for the elote. All right, and today, not today, you've already seen us today. This is our next dish. This is uh, the... Yeah, we all photo together? Oh, no, we're good. I'm just recording. Yeah, thank oh, you. Okay. Thank you. Got it. Chase that back. <laughs> Strangers. <laughs> yeah, chase the bag, apparently. Uh, okay, I made me lose my train of thought. So, this is the chicken tiki masala. It's made with boysenberry curry sauce. So, it's not regular curry sauce, but it smells like regular curry sauce. And there's like chilies, like bell peppers. And it's on top of a bed, uh, a bed of rice. Let's go ahead and try this. It smells good. I'm hoping it tastes good. Chicken, pepper. It's got... It's got like a, a good initial taste. You get the sauce and everything. But... It, like, you still don't get really any boysenberry, which, so, I mean, you know, no boysenberry flavor on a boysenberry day. That's hardly one thing, but the aftertaste is really weird. It's, a, it's like a medicine sort of weird. Hmm. I think it comes from the bell peppers. Hold on. 
I'm gonna check something. Give me a second, guys. I wanna try it without the bell pepper. Let's see if that changes anything. Yeah, the bell pepper is a problem. Even then, chicken's fine. But you got the bell pepper mixed in. And so it gives a tiny bit of like a weird aftertaste. I'm not liking it. I mean, it's like, it's fine, I guess. If you avoid the bell peppers, it's a C. If you take the bell peppers, it's a D. Overall, not that great. I'm in between like a C, maybe a D. I'll give it a D. We, we gotta have our first D. Oh. <coughs> Hey you guys, here we got the, uh, I dug this out of the mine here, out of the Lucky Boysenberry Mine, number 17, I just made it out. This is a Boysenberry, Cold Port, what are you? I gotta check my, uh, my notebook because you know all the different gems and stuff you got in here. This is the, uh, double stuff, so not a single stuff, double stuff, baked potato with Boysenberry Park pulled pork so i mean we've had this before i guess but now it's on top of a baked potato which i mean the potato looks you know for being just a baked potato it's oozing out already so looks like it was done pretty well let's go ahead and give it a try they give us a i mean i found also this this uh this gem of sour cream but i'm, I'm not gonna use it let's just go ahead and try this Okay. Um, whole pork's not that bad. The potato's pretty good. It's done well. It's steamy. It's uh, you know, it's, it's soft. It's mashed potatoes. But the pulled pork is not bad or anything. It's just uh, it's all right. It's kind of saved by the the overall taste of the barbecue sauce and also the the baked potato. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this one in B tier because you know pretty good not that great but B tier for the baked potato it's, it's, it's a good it's solid solid potato and another thing I pulled out of this mine here before it collapsed is this uh, corn chowder that also has a boysenberry drizzle sauce and it seems like it has like a, a boysenberry bread. A boysenberry crostini. So let's go ahead and try this out. Mix it up a little. Let's get the sauce in there, get the corn. It's also got some more potatoes in there. There's another weird flavor. The bread is like sweet. It's a little tough. It's not fresh. It's been stuck in the mine for a, for a while. I don't know. It's, a, it's very okay. We got a bubble in there. Look how hot this is. It's got a bubble. Um, I don't know. It kind of tastes like it came from like a can, like a, like a cream of corn sort of thing. Bread's all right. It, it's a very middle of the road sort of soup, I guess. I don't know, it has potatoes, it got corn, cream. I'll give it a seat. There's really nothing to say about it. We've just gone through, what is it, 14, 15, 16, I don't know how many of these. We went through all of the entree food style things. We didn't get dessert, we didn't get drinks. I might, you know, do some bonus dessert. We still have, uh, I think there's two more on one of these, but We'll do uh, some dessert or something, but that's it for the food. Let's go ahead and go try a dessert or two. So here we got a boysenberry spam musubi. So it's just a, it's a spam. It's got rice and then the seaweed around it. We put some. I don't know where the, the boysenberry comes in, but we put some soy sauce. It might be here. I don't. It doesn't say anything about here, but let's go ahead and try this spam musubi. Yep. 
I don't know. I usually don't use Pat Masubi. It mostly tastes like rice and like the, the seaweed, I guess, a little bit. But it just mostly tastes like rice. It doesn't really taste like anything. I wouldn't try this again. I don't want the rest of it. I'm gonna eat the rest of it, but not great. Throw it down in D tier. It's, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't get it again. Bamboo This is a boysenberry bunt cake. And uh, I don't know what bunt cake means, but it's a bunt cake. Johnny, what does bunt cake mean? Thank you, Johnny. Um, I'm assuming. It's, you know, whatever bread it is infused with actual boysenberries. It's got some, it's got this white chocolate. It's got this uh, cream, I guess, on top of the middle. So we're gonna, we're gonna get a portion of each right here. Where we're moving into the dessert section of the day. There we go, let's take a small bite right here. Okay, okay. This pairs really well. You got the the, cre the the whatever this is icing I guess is the proper term, and the cake you know it's, it's spongy it's moist it's good it's actually really good. Mm. I don't know if it's just because I haven't had anything sweet all day, but I really like the bun cake. It'd be good with like smoothie or milk or something, but even alone, it doesn't make me like over sweeten like some of the other stuff, the other desserts and other breads and other things. Um, I think it's fair to get up in the age here. You know, it's, 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 uh, it's a good ending. The corn kind of sucked. The potato was all right. It's a good bun cake right here. Thank you, Johnny. And here we have a uh, boysenberry lemon square. The lemon square, I guess, is just the lemon and all the boysenberry is here on this jam sort of stuff on the top. We got this white chocolate right there but we're gonna take some of the jam some of the, the lemon square so it seems like it's a, a soft part like a, a cream i don't know i don't know how to make lemon squares and then there's like a sort of crust on the bottom so you it's got three layers you know the crust the, the cream part and then the jelly jam on the top so let's go ahead and try this It's good. I really like the the jam and the crust. So the crust is sweet. It's a little, it's not like crunchy, but it's got like little pieces of like sugar or something in it. So it has like a little mini crunch. The middle though, like the actual lemon tart part, it feels more artificial, um, which I don't really like. Like they didn't use natural flavors or whatever. I, again, I don't know how to make this. Um, it's not bad. It just tasted a little off, I guess. It's, uh, the bunt cake is definitely better than the lemon square, but the lemon square is still good. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in B tier, because it's good, but, I don't know, the, the middle, the, the sort of artificial taste, yeah, I throw it off. If that, if it tastes more natural, I guess, I don't know how to make buttons make squares. I'm repeating myself again, but, I don't know. Not a fan of the artificial stuff. So, unfortunately, my audio cut out, but basically, to start off, or, to end the night, we got a chocolate chip boysenberry, uh, boysenberry filling cookie. As you can see here, it's got like a purple, it's got the chocolate chip portion, and then it's got the filling. And the filling is a sort of sorbet type thing. And the good thing about it is the cookie wasn't dry. It was more of a almost chewy and more moist type of cookie. And it also sort of tasted like, the cookie itself tasted like the shortbread cookies that they have at Knott's with the filling. And so this was sort of an oversized version of that. And I ended up giving it a B. And then we started talking about the smoothie. It, it, no, not a smoothie. It was an, a boysenberry icy float. And so it had icy in it, boysenberry flavor. And it also had soda or something. Somebody else grabbed it while I was grabbing the cookie. And so it has frozen yogurt in it and there was layers to it which kept it all since it was cold and it wasn't just the icing in there it wasn't melting and it wasn't making that pool of sugar at the bottom like ices usually do and it had a lot more flavor it, it was sweet but it was also tart and so that smoothie it was good and even though it was sweet and i was pairing it with 
the cookie that we ate it was sort of refreshing and it, it just tasted good overall and i ended up giving the smoothie or the icy in a and then our friend brought us over some beignets you know they said hey try this out we just bought them they're fresh rate them add them to your tier list and so you know we thank them and so we start talking about the beignets themselves we mentioned how there's a boysenberry drizzle syrup sort of thing and it, it was also topped with boysenberry powdered sugar and so we took a bite and we start i started talking about how it was crispy and toasted on the outside but then it was fluffy and like chewy on the inside and so it was baked really really well and then the flavors on top the 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 syrup or whatever and the sugar i wouldn't say one of the best things i've ever had and that's what justifies an s tier but definitely either it was in the top three of all the things that we had that day and so that was the last thing we tried and that was basically the end of the day but that was our tier list here is a picture of all the things in case you forgot or missed anything and that's basically it.